everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video we're talking how to style the chambray shirt. lovely week. If you're new here, my name is Lana Hope and I'm a fashion stylist and image consultant based here in Sydney, Australia. So firstly, we should talk about what is a chambray shirt. It looks a lot like denim, but it isn't denim. So the big difference between the two fabrics is that denim is a much heavier fabric and a warmer fabric than a chambray. Chambray can be linen and it can still be cotton, it's just that it's a lighter weave of it. Now the term blue collar worker is actually something that chambray helped birth. So the chambray fabric that was used mainly when people are trying to make shirting fabrics for workers back in the 1900s and that's where the term blue collar worker came from. So it's a very interesting fabric with a lot of history. It's definitely not a fabric that has only you know, been recently brought to life or is a recent trend. It has been around for years and it's a super serviceable, durable fabric. This particular shirt style can be really hard to style because we mainly kind of wear jeans casually. So if we feel like we can't style it with jeans because we're worried about double denim, I wanted to show you some outfits today that are going to help you make some more decisions on what you can style it with at home and show you some really cool outfit color combinations that you can replicate as well. So let's jump into our first look. So I wanted to start with a nice, safe, neutral outfit because I think we are more comfortable wearing things like black, gray or white with chambray or anything that looks like denim. So I started this particular look with a pair of high-waisted black wide leg trousers, a pair of black boots, the chambray shirt tucked in with the sleeves rolled up, and then I put on an overcoat that is sleeveless and it's a gray and white tweed fabric. And I thought this was a really good smart casual and could transition into work look if you have a bit less of a corporate job. So some easy colors to pair with this type of shirt, a gray, black, beige, and white. Remember, it doesn't have to be an outfit that's just suited for the really ultra casual part of your lifestyle. You can really dress it up and down. So I've put together a few outfits here for you as well. We've got it on with a black pair of jeans, a leather jacket, and a pair of black shoes. You could also wear it to work and put on a high-waisted skirt in a soft off-white color with the black pleats. You could put a belt around that waist as well and then style it with just a block-heeled shoe that is suitable for work. And then lastly, I went for a much more of a casual look here. I've got a white jean with a tucked-in chambray shirt and you can definitely just open up the buttons on that shirt, put a trench coat over the top and style in a sneaker. I put together this look and it's a burnt orange kind of high-waisted pleated midi skirt and this is a skirt you guys would have seen in my midi skirt styling video which I'll pop in the description below for you guys to check out. I just tucked in the shirt, I've added in a black waist belt and then I've put on as well a pair of leopard print heels. I always find leopard print and blues look really nice together because of the fact that they contrast. When you're putting an outfit together, if you are struggling uh, and you are done with the neutrals, you're sick of wearing it with black or you're sick of wearing it with white, you can contrast the blue tones with orange. Some colours that certainly work with this that do contrast are softer versions of tan. You can absolutely do gold, so if you come across a really cool metallic piece or you have a belt that has gold on it or you have a bag that has gold details, that is a really nice thing to add to chambray. You could also add in more of a deeper burnt toffee kind of colour and then you can go for a much brighter orange as well. So I put together a few extra outfits for this particular colour scheme. I've got a gold sunray pleated skirt with a pair of brown suede heels. I've got a brown suede mini skirt with a big overcoat, some tights and a pair of ankle boots. I've then got a pair of some brown high-waisted kind of cropped culotte style trousers as well as a brown suede pair of ankle boots to wear with this. Now for this third look, I wanted to do something that was a little bit more out of people's comfort zone because I think styling is all about having fun. So in this particular look, I whipped out my pink suit that you guys would have seen in my sneaker styling video. When you're mixing in the blues with this, you could definitely mix it in with other variations of pink or purple. I find blue and pink work so nicely together. It is much more out there and much more of a bold color combination, but if you wanted to tone it down, you could go for a much lighter pink or you could go for a much deeper, darker pinky purple color. 
and it wouldn't stand out as much. So when you're matching in the pinks and reds, you could definitely go for a really soft pink. You could go for a deeper kind of fuchsia color, much like the suit that I'm wearing. You could go for more of an apple red. You could also go for a much deeper red. And I put together a few extra outfits with this color combination. We've got the chambray shirt with a high-waisted tartan style print wrap skirt, a pair of black tights with matching boots and a leather jacket over the top. You've then got a softer version of this outfit which is a little bit more smart casual. It's the sunray pleated soft pink skirt with a big soft pink dolman coat over the top and just a white sneaker. And then lastly for something that's a bit more striking, I put on the blue chambray shirt with the high-waisted red trousers and we've got a red sling back with those. For my next look, I wanted to style another outfit that was definitely out of the comfort zone of a lot of people. And it's more of a double denim look outfit. I think when it comes to wearing this particular pairing together, if you're going to pair jeans and you're going to pair a chambray or a denim style shirt, I think it is nice to try and break it up with a pop of colour. So what I've done here is I've tucked in a chambray shirt, I've put on a pair of red slingback heels with a red coat just to break it up a little bit more and I find it looks a bit more striking and it looks less like I'm wearing a denim jumpsuit. Some other colour combinations that you can do if you are wanting to take a few more risks with this type of shirt is you can definitely mix it with blues and greens. So you could mix this shirt with navy blue, more of a teal kind of colour, a kelly green or even a grass green and you could definitely go for more of that olive slightly khaki green as well. So I've just put together three more outfits and this is a wrap skirt in a navy colour with a green blazer and some black heels. I've then put more of a smart casual or casual Friday look together which is a check pair of trousers, a green jumper and a white pair of sneakers. And then lastly I put on a fun tweed pair of tailored shorts with a tailored blue blazer and just a really soft camel coloured sweater heel. I also went ahead this week and put together a Pinterest board for you guys, which I'm going to link the details to that down below. If you guys have any more ideas on pieces that you struggle to put with other items or colour combinations that you struggle with or generally colours to match with, let me know in the comments below. As always, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. It absolutely makes my day when people do that. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week with another video.